Welcome back to Wayne TV. I'm Joel Gilly. We have some very special friends from the Veterans and Patriots Coalition. There we go. I got that. That's a tongue twister for those of you, us who don't have to say it all the time. Uh, so we've got, uh, I know that we've met you guys in separate interviews, but we're going to go ahead and reintroduce ourselves. So we'll start with you. So I'm Eric Bussey. I'm president of the Wayne County Veterans Patriots Coalition. Awesome. And how about you? Brian Volk. Uh, treasurer of the Wayne County Veterans and Patriots Coalition. Awesome. You guys are, are no strangers. We've had you guys in before separately. Uh, we're glad to have you back. The Purple Heart Banquet is coming up soon. Uh, and so for those who don't have tickets, you need to go ahead and get your tickets. Um, and if you've never been to this event, it is a really neat event where the Veterans and Patriots Coalition honors anyone who Wayne County, in Wayne County who has received a Purple Heart. I think I got that right. Mm -hmm. uh, also, the Gold Star families as well. It is a really neat event. It's happening at the Maxwell Center. You're going to have to refresh me on the date and the time. Be the 5th of August. Okay. Uh, Saturday the 5th. Cool. At 6 p.m. Purple Heart recipients will start getting there about 5.30. Uh, we'll do a, a photograph of them. It's kind of neat. They get a portrait done that night, and they cool. walk out with it the next that night. That's really neat. After the banquet. And then uh, their families will get escorted into the, to the Grand Ballroom, and they'll have uh, some snacks in there to eat. And then we line, well, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. No, you're fine. Go the, for it. They'll line up the Purple Heart recipients once everybody gets in the banquet hall. And uh, they do a sword line, a saber line, and each Purple Heart recipient is introduced with his date of injury or injuries in some cases. Some guys have two. Wow. Um, and where they were injured. And that's in a progression from uh, oldest injured to youngest injured. Interesting. Um, so the last guy will be an Iraq guy, yeah. unless we have something different, but uh, or an Afghanistan guy. I'm sorry. Um, and then we go into the dinner. Yep. Anything you want to add? No, just you know, we go into the dinner, and we have a, a phenomenal guest speaker coming to to kind of talk about. His injuries, right? He took yeah. through his 10 tours of, of combat tours, um, and on the last he was injured. Um, on his way to Germany, he actually legally passed away three times, right? So, um, like, there's men, and then there's like that right. guy. Yeah, he's definitely a legend. Like, that's crazy. Um, he was actually invited by President Obama to one of the inauguration speeches um, that he was able to do. So, he was wow. President Obama's um, State of the Union. State of the Union, yeah. sorry, excuse me, State of the Union address. Um, so he got to be there and spend some time with president, with the president, and for us to be able to have him at our event is is a huge, huge piece yeah. for us, and we're super excited to have him. Yeah, that's really cool. There's always you know the guest speakers have always been really good throughout the years, and I'm sure this one's going to be the same. Also, some good musical entertainment too sprinkled in throughout the night, right? Same same kind of groups as we've had before. It'll be very similar to what we've had in the past. We'll have encore. Uh, Steve Jones is a local guy that does entertainment uh, amongst many other talents. And uh, uh, what is the name of the other band? It's a group of guys that uh, it's a guitar and ACDC. Yeah, ACDC. Yeah, no. cool. <laughs> <laughs> DC, <laughs> DC. Yeah. yeah, the backwards. Um, but it's they're, they're great, and uh, it's it provides a good uh, good uh, bit of entertainment during the banquet. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know the the tickets are forty dollars a piece. Right. And that includes a good dinner. Um, same same kind of dinner as last as last time. Very similar meal okay, this year. Yeah. yeah, it seems to be very popular with uh, yeah. the folks that are attending. So, so forty bucks gets you and gets you the entertainment. Uh, you know, if you haven't served, if you did not get a Purple Heart, you got to pay for your ticket. Those that have Purple Hearts do not have to pay for their ticket. They get to come right. for free, and I think that's really cool. Um, but those who have not received a Purple Heart and want to go, it's forty dollars, and it's a great evening. Um, I think you know one of the cool things is being able to sit at a table. I've never served, but being able to sit at a table with those who did and be able to talk to them. Right. And uh, I, I said in our last interview that I'm a, I'm a younger guy, but being able to talk to this older generation is, is so important, I feel like. And uh, so it is a really neat event. I know that you guys are always looking for more proper heart people, too, that maybe you haven't captured in your database that, that you can't reach out to. So um, I guess people just need to give you guys a call, shoot your message online. That's the right. best way to do it, right? You guys will have our, our numbers on one of the pieces of paper. Uh, cool. People can feel free to call either Eric or myself or Bill, and we'll get you into the database, get you verified, and then uh, you'll have a free ticket, and three of your family members will have a ticket. And then if you choose to bring more than that, which some people do, um, the, those tickets are $35 instead of 40 gotcha. so it's a little bit more of a discounted rate. Um, 
Uh, we also welcome Purple Heart families of Purple Heart, families of people who have lost a Purple Heart recipient in the past. Uh, I believe you're in that situation. Yep. Yep. Um, so we honor those folks, those families, because they're continuing the, the legacy that their loved one uh, shared with us while, he, while they were here. Yep. Uh, the Gold Star Mothers will have about 55 to 60 Purple Heart recipients. Some of the banquets in the local area were, are not happening this year, so uh -huh. we're going to inherit some of those other folks from That's the good. surrounding areas. Um, and then uh, we'll have 20 Gold Star families probably wow. and probably 20, 25 Purple Heart families from past Purple Heart recipients. Yeah. And it'll be a great evening of uh, honor. Uh, there'll be a special tribute for some of the Gold Star families. Uh, we usually will have an honor table where there's pictures of their loved ones there and then we'll feature photos and things like that during the banquet. Um, you know, we're also always looking for advertising. This doesn't happen for free. I was just about <laughs> to bring that up. And, you know, that information, you can reach out to the same numbers for the tickets, anything other questions you have. Um, it's a tax deductible. We are a 501c3. Yeah. And uh, it's tax deductible, any donations that you want to make. Yeah, so. there's so many, uh, so many great nonprofits, right? And and we understand there's always an ask, but to be able to uh, to be able to feed the the Purple Heart recipient and three of their family members is not cheap for the organization. Right. And so I'm glad you brought that up because they do also uh, always need funding, uh, and you guys do a lot in the community. Purple Heart Banquet is just one one small little thing, but there's so much throughout the year that yeah. you guys do. Veterans Day parade. Uh, we just finished the Memorial Day. You want to talk about that, Eric? Yeah, so Memorial Day, we, uh, we did a small ceremony at the American Legion, um, and we're able to go out and lay close to 6,200 flags at wow. all the veterans' grave sites here in Wayne County. Um, and then Memorial Day itself, we held a short ceremony here downtown and, um, and it hopes to honor those, yeah. right, and, and the families to know that, hey, their loved ones is still being thought of and honored and uh, talked about. Yep. We're so thankful for organizations like you guys that uh, that can keep those memories alive and and keep those people in our thoughts because we do owe so much of uh, of what we have everything all of our freedom to to those men and women. So, uh, anything else we need to talk about on the Purple Heart Banquet? I don't think so. The earlier you can get the tickets, the better. Yeah. Uh, if you're interested, um, we'll make sure you guys got the link to the Facebook page. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Find them on Facebook. Numbers. Shoot yeah. them a message. And give them a call. They're very easy to get in touch with. Which Wayne is great. County Veterans and Patriots Coalition is how you'll find us on Facebook. Perfect. Uh, I, I do urge you to go give them a like on Facebook if you have any questions about the event, if you're interested in coming to the event, if you need tickets, get in touch with them. Uh, it is a great event at the Maxwell Center, and it's always packed. Like, you wouldn't believe it. It's the yeah. biggest room that the <laughs> Maxwell Center has, and it is packed. We'll have 550 people probably yeah. this year. That's awesome. Yeah, uh, it's a good time, good entertainment, good food, and it's all for a really good cause uh, and a good way to give back to uh, to those Purple Heart recipients. So, gentlemen, anything else we need to talk about? No, we just appreciate you Absolutely. having us on. Absolutely, yep. anytime. And uh, we hope to see you at the Purple Heart Banquet coming up uh, this fall. Here in the is it fall August? We're getting close to the fall. Yeah. It's yeah, fall in my opinion. Early. <laughs> we'll see you at the Purple Heart Banquet at the Maxwell Center right here in Wayne County.